Since the day that I announced my candidacy, I set out to find a partner who can help build this brighter future. A leader who will help unite our nation and move us forward. A fighter for the middle class. A patriot who believes, as I do, in the extraordinary promise of America. A promise, a promise of freedom, opportunity, and justice, not just for some, but for all. So, Pennsylvania, I'm here today because I found such a leader. <laughs> Governor Tim Walt of the great state of Minnesota. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, I got to tell you, pointing out just an observation of mine that I, I, that I made. I just have to say it. You know it. You feel it. These guys are creepy and, yes, just weird as hell. That's what you see. That's what you see. Uh, obviously, uh, the big news of the day is that Tim Waltz has been nominated as the VP, or is, is now the presumptive nominee, I should say, uh, for Kamala Harris. My view on it is it just highlights how radical Kamala Harris is. This is a person who listened to the Hamas wing of her own party and selecting a nominee. This is a guy who's proposed shipping more manufacturing jobs to China, who wants to make the American people more reliant on garbage ener energy instead of good American energy, and has proposed defunding the police just as Kamala Harris does. Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Madam Vice President. Listen. I want you to do this with me. Let's let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Uh, the joy that you're bringing back to the country, the enthusiasm that's out there, uh, it would be a privilege to take this with you across the country. We just got to fight. We just got to fight. Because as soon to be President Harris says, when we fight, we win!